Hello guys, welcome back to our tech channel. Today we are going to see a quick and easiest way to patch SSDT in your hacking touch and fix some certain issues like CPU power management and so many cool stuff. So today, before we start, make sure your computer or laptop is connected to the internet. Make sure it's connected to the internet. And again, I repeat, make sure it's connected to the internet. Or this process won't work for you well. So this one, you open the SSDT, SSDT time bat. Once you open it, will download some resources. From here, you can see that the current DSDT is none. So you have to dump it. So you press P and we press enter and it will dump the system, the, the SSDT from your system directly before the process can be done correctly. So you press P and you press enter. As you can see, it's now currently available. So now you can start the fixing. From You start from number one, you type one, then you press enter. Then you press enter again. <coughs> There's no much you can do after that. That's the only thing you have to do. You press 2, then you press enter. Number 2 is for desktop PC, and number 3 is for laptops. So if you choose number 2, you don't have to choose number 3. If you choose number 3 and you're using laptop, you don't have to choose number 2. So I will jump to number 4. You press number 4, you repeat the same process. You repeat the same process and follow the guide on the screen. I repeat, this is the easiest way to patch SSDTs on your hacking touch from what I know. So just follow the ones on the screen. And this is the, just a part one of the video. Part two will be also waiting to be uploaded because there are certain things I have to confirm for myself. And this one, I have tested this one for more than a week to see it's working effectively working before I have to post it because I don't want a program whereby you it will work for you and it doesn't work for someone we all use the same machine and it depends I've tested in all Mac OS versions from Catalina to Sonoma and it's all working out to create and it's all working out to create it's the same process it's the same process you follow one on the screen you just press it you don't do anything serious you press the normal you press enter then you press enter again that's all you don't have to do anything serious or do anything the normal nine the pci bridge is not really that needed it's not that really important so you can skip it for my i skip it for your you can your yours on your machine or, or your work you are doing, you can also skip it because it's not that really important. It's just an option where you can choose from. By not, it doesn't matter if you add it or it doesn't add it. So you have to, you have to just repeat the same processes. For this one, it doesn't take effect, so I will just quit it. I'm just doing a quick demonstration how to select it. You, you just right click on the map uh, on the mouse single click just a single click yeah just a single click just a single click before you do that From here, from the normal zero, from the zero, it's labeled according to your generation. 
you are using as for mine i'm using sky lake generation so if you are using sky lake or cargo lake you can use number 16. it doesn't mean everyone wants to choose number 16. you have to know your generation before you choose it uh -huh. if you press that one you choose your generation then you press enter that's all yeah that's the most important thing you have already done so the rest is just a choice so the last one which is a is just a choice so you quit it you can quit it because the important work is done when you complete you close it you just open the folder you extracted you go to the folder you will see there is a new folder created called resort that is where you find the newly created or the patched ssdts yeah this is how you are going to see that so this is it the open corner and the clover patch files are all in it thank you guys thank you